neither sign of Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do your reading for the next 48 hours. Thanks for joining me. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes. If you want a private reading, I do those for donations. So check out the box below. So let's get started calling in Sagittarius's angel spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Let's get messages. That's for their greater good. This is the spell casting oracle. We're just going to grab one of these before your spread, and I'm going to do a general Celtic cross spread. Right away, we get willpower, and I have the perseverance that uh, Nine of Wands energy here that you've gone through a whole lot, but look at what you're able to balance. It's amazing. Willpower. Have willpower. All right, Sagittarius, what's the issue? What's the issue? Queen of Cups. Maybe you're needing somebody to talk to about how you're needing this perseverance. Queen of Cups is somebody that you can go to, you can feel comfortable with. It has the therapist on this card. So it represents somebody that can, it's really warm, caring, and is here to listen to you and what you're going through. Help you navigate the emotions. As you notice this coy pond like that they're sitting on in the office so relaxing helpful could be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces could be what is the um what's the challenge to this the commitment commitment or partnership so maybe you're having trouble with a partnership or um, trying to find harmony within a partnership maybe you just need somebody to talk to you about your emotions here Okay, what is the heart of the issue? Heart of the issue has to do with power. Possibly a power struggle um, because we have the lovers in reverse. So this is all about partnerships and it could also be about balance, um, balancing the power out, making big decisions. And for some, something just doesn't feel like um, it's uh, equal here who is dominating, who has got the power or say so. I think that is what's being hashed out. All right, so what is the past position for Sagittarius? <laughs> Immediately, we are waiting, okay? So we are waiting in the past position with the hangman. This could be Carta Virgo, this could be Gemini. This is water signs. Um, Virgo here, waiting and waiting, feeling like self-sacrifice. Like something in this card says, um, how long are you gonna hang in there? Because, you know, the wait's probably about almost up since that's in your past is what I'm saying. And then the five of pentacles in reverse is a present situation. So it is coming out of worry, coming out of a financial pinch, Coming out of maybe one person feeling left out of decision making. Could be about health issues, coming out of a bad health problem or somebody around you, something like that. All right, so the near future position is, or Sagittarius is, ah, the Five of Swords, and that's no good, is it? Well, okay, so this card can be about conflicts, arguing, people thinking something is a game, that might not be kosher with you. Can also be about comparing yourself to others. Um, we'll get clarification on these cards too, okay? So that near future position, and then what is the how you're feeling? Wow. All right. Coming out of feeling kind of bad. Coming out of it's almost like a rebirth from feeling like you couldn't go on some a situation being extremely mentally, emotionally hard on you. We're coming out of that. I think also we're making sure that we're not careless here. Knight of Wands, um, you know, I do look at this as fast forward motion, possibly travel that's not happening if it's in the reverse. Um, it might have to do with somebody that's 
it might have to do with being done with a person who just comes in and out of your life or a career or a business, something that goes in and out and has not been doing you any good. So it's a rebirth. Okay, the external. External is the nine of swords, goodness. So, you know, feeling like something maybe was particularly cruel Maybe possibly depression. Maybe it went into like a health issue. Anxiety. Maybe needing to take things for either anxiety or sleep. Like medicine. Having to go to a counselor or something about this. So hopes and fears. Queen of Wands. Alright, so... In a hope, we could hope that we are brave enough to step out into the spotlight. And as we do that, as we step out into the spotlight, we are bold, risk-taking. The way people look at us is as if, you know, we have some magical power to make things just happen. We are inspiring to others. That is the hopes and fears. I think it's more of a hope. But putting yourself out there might be a fear for some people. The projected outcome for Sagittarius. What do we have? Closure to a situation, an end. Closure, Scorpio. Could be, um, you know, something that you may have felt like this. This uh, It could be a relationship that you put into an end. End of the chapter, end of the road, done for you. Or this end could be something that your mind is questioning. Is it gonna happen? When's it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? Is there some things, some secrets that have been kept for me? What's happening? Is something going to end? I feel like it's going to end intuitively, but I still need to know more about what's happening. That's the energy I'm getting from that. So Pisces and Scorpio. All right, so let's get some clarifying cards here. Um, let's just let it land where it wants to land, Tarot. You tell us what you want us to know. That's what I've got. Okay. Oh, okay. Some people are really going off on their own independence here. They're tired of the power struggle in some kind of relationship. And of course, this could be going off on your own, um, like in a business or career. You're just tired of the inability to work together. Okay, So that might be on your mind is wanting to be more independent. Something about some memories that might have been hard memories that we might have not wanted to celebrate that have to do with this lover's card card of gemini card of decisions the decision may not you know it may be to not celebrate something like to end something instead Maybe it is about somebody that doesn't go out with you that much or just something about this partnership is not, there's, it's not um, worthy to be celebrated about this, something about this. So we have temperance. So this is like assistance from your angelic realm, your spirit guides. Um, temperance is needed. Balance is needed in your life. Things will change and get back together. This could be about two energies needing to balance out to work together um i feel like maybe one person is talking to somebody venting and working through feelings and one either person or one side is not wanting to work on something one side might feel like it's emotionally manipulative to you and like i said it's general so it can be um relationship or it can be career um business family matters, just all sorts of stuff. So yeah, um, something that's unknown as to whether you're going to end this chapter or not. I think that's all up to you. 
All right, so thank you, Sagittarius. You all have a really nice few days. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.